Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's find out if it's effects that are slowing you down. All right, I created this tutorial after helping someone out. Uh, they were having major problems. They had a 90 minute documentary and they were just slow and chugging along and crashing and they weren't sure why. They had a lot of green screen video and it uh, alerted me to the fact of what might be the problem. So let's have a look at, at what I'm doing here, which is using green screen video, um, but also other things. And let's see what happens to the CPU and the GPU. There's easy ways for you to check if it's the effects that are slowing you down. All right, let's have a look. I've got some art grid footage here. Uh, green screen footage in the front. Obviously, she's not in that burning building, uh, but you can see it's playing back fairly well. No problem at all, even though the footage, the background actually has a Lumetri effect on it, and she has a Lumetri effect, and she's got Ultra Key on, and uh, it seems to be playing back just fine. And I've got my, I've got my performance indicator here. And you can see my GPU, which is a Quadro RTX 5000, and it is smoking along just nice. CPU is also doing some work, decompressing some video probably, and the uh, built-in GPU too. So really a combination of all of this stuff together is playing back. So let's keep it playing back in a loop here, and I'll turn on this middle uh, track, which is a JPEG. I mean, here we've got videos and green screen. Huh? This little old JPEG, I'm going to turn it on and watch it grind to a halt. Done. Finished. Over. Even on this powerful computer, this Dell Precision uh, laptop with 64 gigs of RAM and the, oh boy, really, really slow. Now we'll let it try to catch up. And if we go back over to our performance, let's have a look at, oh boy, see, it crashed. Wow. So there you go. This was the problem that uh, the other person I was helping had. Uh, and this is really short too, so it shouldn't really, it shouldn't be crashing. But I know it's wrong, so I'm going to show you what's wrong. I, I was hoping to uh, uh, have it eventually catch up, but obviously it's not catching up. Sometimes you can fix uh, stuttery playback in Premiere Pro just by stopping and, and starting again. All right, let's get that going again. And I'll turn on the background in between on V2, and you can see what's going on here. So I'm gonna hit play and we'll try to play and you can see no way. So one of the first things to try is a, a, a built-in button that you have. It, it's not showing, we'll show it in a second. And it's a global effects bypass. It turns all the effects off. Let's do that. So in the project panel, by the way, I'm in the essentials workspace. This little button editor, click in here and look for the FX. This is global effects mute. Drag it down, click OK. So it's gray when it's off. This is a mute button. And when I click on this, it'll take a second for Premiere Pro to catch up. And now you can see, I'll restart it again. So she's showing completely well. I turn her layer off, the JPEG is fine, and below that, the burning building. So something in this stack is the problem. Um, I don't think she's the problem, but I think this is the problem. So let's go have a look at the background um, effects being used. And the first one is this nasty one, camera blur. Camera, camera blur is trying to blur the background as if it was seen through a camera lens, like a depth of field. The problem is it's not an accelerated effect. So it's 100 CPU and it's really old code. So it's not efficient, not optimized at all. And when I turn that off, 
Let's see if we can play now. Mm, nope, still not good. We've got a lens flare on here and we've got noise. So now notice that the timeline is now yellow. And if I turn noise back on, it's red. Turn the lens flare on, it's red. Turn the camera blur. So all three of these effects are what's causing that problem. If I really wanted to blur this, I'll go over to my effects and look, Gaussian blur has this little icon beside it. That means this is an accelerated effect. So if I wanted to, I could blur that and it's all gonna play back just perfectly. So choosing the right kind of blur gets rid of this problem. Noise is still an unaccelerated effect and so is the lens flare. But for lens flare, if it's not moving, you could actually render out uh, a flat image, uh, really, and stretch it out and composite over top. But let's uh, say we're not going to do that. So that Gaussian blur is gonna solve that problem. It's easy to see if we click on this button here in our effects, this is gonna show us, I'll just turn off all the, the presets uh, and the audio effects. You can see all of these effects that are showing are accelerated. That means that they'll get a huge boost from the GPU. If we turn this off and then just start going through this list, you'll find the culprits, lighting effects, not GPU accelerated, blur and sharpen. Look at that, camera, camera blur is not accelerated. The rest of them are. And then things like Gaussian blur are not only accelerated, they're 32-bit color and they're YUV. So they're really modern, really optimized and very fast. And even if you don't have a GPU, it's gonna be better than that uh, camera blur. Channel. These are all accelerated, accelerated, color correction, color balance is not, but Lumetri is, and that's where you're gonna do most of your work. So have a look through here. If you're using any of these, like rolling shutter, turbulent displace, these are going to use a lot of CPU. And if that effect and your CPU can handle it, great, then play it back and you're fine. It might be stuttering, you might wanna render the timeline and things like that. but. The problem occurs when someone creates a stack of effects like this, and this is what happened to the other person is they created this stack, and when they only had about five minutes on the timeline, it was chunky, it wasn't bad, but every single interview was green screen, and we're talking probably 20 people, 20 clips chopped up, each with green screen on it, each with backgrounds with camera blur on it and other effects, and holy smokes, it just choked. You couldn't even render the timeline. As soon as I went in, replaced all the effects, the final result looked the same to the editor, and they now ran uh, next to real time or in real time, and output was flawless. So. Turn on that FX mute button, go fishing around with the stuff that you've done. And uh, Adobe is always updating those GPU effects, especially now in 2022. A bunch of them that were obsolete, we've been waiting for them, uh, and they've rewritten them for GPU because you have to rewrite these things from the ground up, and that's what Adobe is doing. They keep adding um, another one and another one and another one. And I don't know if camera blur will ever be rewritten, but you know, Gaussian blur is just as fine. Um, and if you're at a higher level of compositing, then you should be doing that in After Effects anyway. So there you go. If you're new to Video Revealed, uh, you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com. Donate once, monthly, any amount. We've got wonderful, amazing, wonderful donors who have supported us, some of you for years and years, and we really do thank you. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to put on my detective hat and go searching for what's causing the Premiere Pro timeline to totally choke.